Welcome top news today. U.S. President Donald Trump threw another political bombshell into the Middle East sphere on Wednesday, appending Washington's longtime cautious position by recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and initiating the move of the U.S. Embassy in the years to come. Former U.S. negotiators and experts who follow the Israel-Palestinian conflict were divided in their assessment of Mr. Trump's decision. While some told the national it undermines the U.S. standing and credibility, others viewed it as a natural diplomatic and political move that enjoys a mandate from U.S. Congress. Dennis Ross, former U.S. envoy and current distinguished fellow at the Washington Institute for Near East Policy The challenge for the Trump administration now is to make very clear that the final status of Jerusalem must still be negotiated and that the president's statement in no way prejudges the outcome in Jerusalem or prejudices Palestinian claims and rights in the city. The fact that he said that the boundaries of Israeli sovereignty in Jerusalem must be negotiated indicates that competing Israeli and Palestinian claims must be resolved through negotiations. But reaffirmation and repetition of these points to Arab audiences will be needed to counteract the effort by some to say the U.S. has simply adopted Israel's position. Martin Indyk, former U.S. envoy and current executive vice president of the Brookings Institution This is a decision bound to make everybody unhappy at best and very angry at the worst. Palestinian aspirations in Jerusalem appear to be ignored. Israeli claims to the sovereignty over the Temple Mount appear to go unrecognized. Recognition appears to be ethereal rather than geographical since it doesn't touch boundaries. If your account is accurate it's too clever by half. Blank. Read more beyond the headlines GCC summit and Trump's Jerusalem announcement Palestinians warn new intifada possible as Trump recognizes Jerusalem as Israel capital. Blank. Yusuf Munayer, executive director of the U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights. A decision such as this is both morally wrong and politically dangerous. Not only is Donald Trump deliberately insulting the Palestinian people, but also Arabs and Muslims around the world. In doing so, he is relinquishing what little credibility the United States had left in a region that is already rife with conflict and division. The United States has attempted to shepherd the so-called peace process on the basis that it can play the role of mediator but by clearly adopting an Israeli position as its own, it makes clear it is not even pretending anymore. Danielle Pletka, Senior Vice President for Foreign and Defense Policy Studies at the American Enterprise Institute Jerusalem is more a symbol than a territorial negotiation and Talmudic debates about the relative holiness of the Temple Mount or Haram el-Sharif to Muslims versus the established holiness of the site to the Second Temple to Jews, or just that. Talmudic. These are religious matters, and should not factor into diplomatic or political negotiations. Why? Because diplomats have no place adjudicating holiness. Seems obvious, no? So why are we fussing about this Trump decision? Partly because many do not in fact accept the legitimacy of Israeli rule over any part of Jerusalem, an argument that should be unacceptable to Americans. Protesters shout slogans against Trump and hold a banner in Arabic Jerusalem as capital of Palestine during a protest against the Israel in Cairo, Egypt. Mohammed al rayyab protesters pray in the street outside the U.S. consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Chris McGrath Getty Images A woman shouts slogans against U.S. President Donald Trump during a protest against the Israel in front of U.S. Consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Tolga Bozoglui PA A woman holds a sign during a demonstration against the U.S. and Israel at Fatih Mosque in Istanbul. Yasin Akgule AFP photo The Hamas organization's top leader Sheikh Ismail Haneya attends a protest against the U.S. decision to recognize the city of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, in Gaza City, Gaza Strip. Mohamed Saber EPA Palestinians protest against the U.S. decision to recognize the city of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, in Gaza City, Gaza Strip. Mohamed Saber EPA protesters wave flags and shout slogans outside the U.S. consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Chris McGrath Getty Images protesters shout slogans against U.S. President Donald J. Trump and burn Israeli flag during a protest against the Israel in Cairo, Egypt. Mohammed El Rai PA Jonathan Shanzer, Vice President of Research at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies While the announcement was a win for Israel and therefore a disappointment to the Palestinians, the announcement does not do anything to challenge Palestinian, Arab or Muslim claims on Jerusalem. It is merely a determination of where America will conduct its diplomatic business. It is for this reason I believe the response has been hysterical and wildly out of proportion.
Rhonda Slim, director of the Track 2 Dialogues Initiative at the Middle East Institute Donald Trump's decision at least clarifies the situation declares the peace process officially over removes any remaining doubt about the U.S. third-party role as a fair mediator. This also represents the end of the road for the Palestinian political camp that advocated for negotiations. Congress reaction in Congress, which voted in 1995 to pass the Jerusalem Embassy Act preempting Mr. Trump's decision, this was a welcome announcement by Republicans while the Democrats were divided around its implications. House Majority Leader Paul Ryan doubled down on Mr. Trump's step, saying, Jerusalem has been, and always will be, the eternal, undivided capital of the State of Israel. Today's announcement is a recognition of reality that in no way inhibits efforts to reach a lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians, he said. The move was also welcomed by Senator Bob Corker, a Republican but a critic of Mr. Trump's foreign policy. On the Democrat side, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer approved telling the Weekly Standard he advised Mr. Trump of making the announcement. However, Senator Dianne Feinstein of California opposed emphasizing that the president's decision to unilaterally recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital rejects decades of bipartisan policy and undermines our standing with Palestinians and regional partners. For his part, independent Senator Bernie Sanders, a vocal critic of many Israeli policies, issued a statement regretting Mr. Trump's decision. There's a reason why all past U.S. Administrations have avoided making this move, and why leaders from all over the world, including a group of former Israeli ambassadors, have warned Trump against doing it, Mr. Sanders said. It would dramatically undermine the prospects for an Israel-Palestinian peace agreement, and severely, perhaps irreparably, damage the United States' ability to broker that peace. What the U.S. should be doing now is bringing adversaries in the Middle East together to see common solutions, not exacerbating tensions in this highly volatile region, he said.